Hi, I'm Caroline Weilert, Vice President of Marketing at Valleycrest Landscape Companies. I'm here at the ULI Fall Meeting in Los Angeles and I'm sitting with Don White, the President of Kennecott Land. We're going to talk a little bit about the future of planned communities. Thank you for uh, sitting down with me My today. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go with the first question, which is, if you agree, the issue is what we build versus where we build. How can we shift future development into more cohesively designed neighborhoods and communities? Well, I think, I think it's a combination, really. It's not just where we build. Uh, what we build is very important, but mm -hmm. I think the location is, uh, is, is essential. And placemaking and master plan community development is still very, very important. The, uh, the quality of what we're, what we're selling in terms of, of homes and whatnot is not nearly as important initially as, as the community is. When a person comes into the community, they have to feel like they're coming into a special place, some place where they're going to feel warm and welcome when they arrive back home. And whatnot. If that happens, then they'll look at product, mm -hmm. and you'll get into a lot of the quality details you can get into. Great. And we're going to talk about the land entitlement process for a second. What do you think is the most challenging part, and what do we need to do to make it easier? I, I think it's involving people early in the process. Uh, Utah, we have, we've been through a process that's Envision Utah Land where they changed the debate about whether you should grow to being a debate about how you should grow mm -hmm. and tied that to people's values. So, so they actually polled the public in a very broad sense and said, what's important to you? And for example, it isn't traffic congestion that's the problem. The problem is that you're stealing people's time that they have with their families. So you need to find ways to meet that value head on. And by turning that dialogue around to one about how we should grow, they were able to actually generate public support for continued growth and expansion in Salt Lake Valley. What a different kind of entitlement arena that creates. Mm -hmm. Terrific. Okay. And then the last question is, do you believe it's possible to plan community? I'm sure you do. And <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the coaching. <laughs> <laughs> what is essential for creating community in the next decade? Well, I, I think paying attention to what, what people are really passionate about and what they care about is really important in community. Mm -hmm. We spend so much time at home, and, and it's one of the opportunities we have to really spend quality time with our families and whatnot. And what we're seeing is that, is that the kinds of things that people like to do all can be incorporated in a master plan community. And yet you can still have high density, you can have other, you can have mixed use, you can create third places and whatnot. All of those things are things that people have liked and have stood the test of time. Mm -hmm. Let's face it, uh, having a place to go that you can, that, that is, uh, is special to transact commerce and where you feel comfortable running into a neighbor and whatnot, those things have been around for a very, very long time. We need to continue to execute those things, and ideally you do them very early in the life of the community. Terrific. All right, well, thank okay. you so much for joining me. Thanks very much. And we'll see you at the at the 1.30. Yes, you better okay. hurry up on your interviews. Yeah. <laughs>